Hello, and welcome to this lesson on the cross product. The cross product is another handy tool um, for our vector analysis. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in and talk about what it is and what it does. It should be a relatively quick lesson. So first let's talk about the functional definition. And that just means, what is the cross product? What does it mean? And that we can demonstrate with a little bit of a diagram. So let's say we have two vectors. We have a vector A and another vector, vector B. And between them, there is an angle. We'll call that theta sub A, B. Now the cross product is just a vector that extends, now the cross product is just a vector that extends perpendicular to a plane created by A and B. So this is our cross product of A and B, or as we say, A cross B. Now, the reason it extends down is because it adheres to the right-hand rule, like we talked about in our rectangular coordinates lesson, right-hand rule. And that says, imagine that you're tightening a screw and the screw is moving in direction or the turning is moving in direction um, from A to B, what direction will the screw progress in? Well, it's gonna progress down along that vector that we've just drawn. So that's a good mental mnemonic device. Now, this also means that things like the commutative property don't apply. So, for example, if we say B cross A, that's actually equal to negative a cross B, it's gonna be a vector in the opposite direction, but it will have the same magnitude. So we can say that the magnitude of B cross A is equal to the magnitude of A cross B. And its definition is just this. We have a unit vector, A sub N, We have a unit vector a sub n times the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the sine of theta a b. So that's our functional definition equation for a cross b. Now let's look at our operational definition. This is the, well, how can we actually work it out by hand to figure out what the cross product is? The operational definition, how do we actually calculate the cross product? If we're given two vectors, A and B, then A cross B is equal to the determinant of a three by three matrix. That looks like this. It's got A sub X, A sub Y, and A sub Z, the unit vectors here at the top, and then AX, a sub y, A sub z, the x, y, and z components of A, and then the x, y, z components of B, B, x, B, y, and B, z. Now, if you don't remember how to take the determinant of a three by three matrix, let's go ahead and review that real quick. And we'll see that A cross x is equal to the first thing you do is just look at the unit vector, this top bit that you want to take, and then find the determinant of the matrix that's left over. So we'll have unit vector a sub x times a sub y times b sub z minus a sub z times b sub y. And then we repeat that for the middle vector, the a sub y. That's going to be a matrix of ax, bx, and az, bz. Minus, pay attention to that, there's a minus there, a sub y times a sub x times b sub z minus a sub z times b sub x. And finally, the third component 
a matrix of a sub x, b sub x, and a sub y, b sub y. So we'll say plus a sub z times a sub x times b sub y minus a sub y times b sub x. And there we go, there's our formula for calculating the cross product of our three dimensional vectors. Let's go ahead and work out an example. Let's say that we're given vector a is equal to two times a sub x minus three times a sub y plus a sub z and b is equal to minus four times a sub x minus two times a sub y plus five times a sub z. And we'll go ahead and use this formula that we've got up here at the top. So here we can see that our components, we've got ax is equal to two, ay is equal to negative three, and a z is equal to one. And on the b side, we've got b sub x is equal to negative four, b sub y is equal to negative two, and b sub z is equal to five. So we'll plug everything into that equation that we've got there at the top, and we'll have that the cross product a cross b is equal to a sub x times a sub y times b sub z, so that's minus three and times five, minus a sub z times b sub y, so minus one times minus two, minus the unit vector a sub y times a sub, z, a sub x times b of z, so that's two times five minus a sub z and b sub x, one and times negative four plus the unit vector a sub z times a sub x b sub y, so two times negative two minus a sub y times b sub x, negative three times negative four. There we go. And from there, it's just algebra to find our result. So we'll have a sub x, times negative 15 plus two minus a sub y times 10 plus four plus a sub z times negative four plus 12, excuse me, minus 12, negative four minus 12. So the resulting vector a cross b is equal to minus 13 times a sub x minus 14 times a sub y minus 16 times a sub z. And so there we have it. That's how we calculate the cross product of two vectors. As always, if you have any questions, um, let me know, and if not, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you.